Hi, I'm Allison. I'm a certified destination wedding expert and I love planning destination weddings. So how does it work working with me? You probably are wondering that before you want to dive in and click on the link and, and set up a Zoom call and all that stuff. Sure, that's totally fair. So the first step is setting up a totally free Zoom consultation call. So we'll hop on Zoom, we'll talk about all of your destination wedding dreams. I'm going to ask you a whole bunch of questions about your budget and your preferences and your guests and just like all sorts of stuff. Some of it you might not even know. I have lots of questions for you, but those questions really help me get to the heart of all the things that you're looking for. So I make sure that I'm finding you exactly what you want and what you need. Then uh, once we talk, I'll send you a service agreement if you decide to hire me, of course. Um, you'll read that, sign it, ask any questions you have, go over all the terms and conditions, all those good things. Um, and spoiler alert, my terms and conditions are pretty chill. It's mostly be a nice person because I try to be a nice person, so I hope you are too. So I like working with nice people, right? Nice people are the best. So after you read the terms and conditions, sign that, pay me, and I have different payment plan options if you're wondering. Then we'll start working on your wedding. I start out by doing research, kind of like I do for honeymoons if you've watched that video, but basically I take my knowledge from my personal experience traveling to all the best resorts, I take it from all the trainings I've done, from all the classes I've been, I talk to my colleagues who have been to a couple of places that I haven't been to, we share knowledge and resources and pictures and experiences and videos to make sure that I really, really know what you're getting, what you need. I do a lot of matchmaking in this stage, not with you two, of course, you already found each other, but I do a lot of matchmaking with you two and then the perfect resort. So after I, we've had that consultation call where I ask lots and lots of questions, I really get to know the vibe of what you're looking for, the price, kind of the aesthetic, because it's not just a vacation, it's your wedding. So you really want to make sure the aesthetic is what you're getting. Like I do all of the research based on your needs because it's all about you. It's your wedding. After I do some research, I give you guys different options to start out with. I'll usually present three to four resorts and the destinations that we've talked about. I'll give you their different wedding packages, general pricing for guest rooms so that you kind of have an idea of what your friends and family are going to pay to stay there and make sure they're cool with that. Um, I'll give you, you know, pictures of the wedding venues, all the information that you need to make an informed decision about your destination wedding resort because it's kind of a big deal. Then once we kind of narrow it down to a couple choices, by the way, if you don't love the first two, I can give you more. No problem. So once we narrow it down to your top choices, then I'll contact the resorts themselves and see if your wedding dates or like the kind of range or time period that you want to have your wedding is available because that's of course a really important thing, right? Like we can find the perfect resort, but if the date's not available, it doesn't really help us very much. So I make sure that they've got the date that you're looking for. Once that's good, then you really get to decide what you want. This time I reach out and get quotes about group rates for your group. So depending on the size of your group, you might have a group contract or maybe something different. Um, but whatever it is that you need, that's the pricing that I reach out and get so that you can make a really informed decision, not just about the online face value prices, but about the contractual group discounted rates that I can get you guys. Cause that's, those are the real numbers we're working with. If you've made a final decision, then I'll help you pick the wedding package you're looking for, get in touch with the resort, and sign a contract to set your wedding date. Yay! This is a huge deal, of course, a really big deal. And um, this is, you know, it's kind of a huge milestone when you set the date for your wedding. So I love this step. After that, then it's all kind of me. You get to chill. You could pick your wedding date, you'll sign the contract, it's all set. It's all me now. So the next thing that happens is I get those group contract rates. I, I get a contract. We go over it together. We make sure that we're all comfortable with all the details of that so that you're not on the hook for any rooms that your wedding guests don't use or something. I have a whole system for this so that I make your life really easy and you don't end up paying for stuff you're not using because who wants to do that? Then once we have your contract signed and deposited and all set, then I make a custom wedding website for you guys. It's kind of like the one on the knot or wedding wire, but honestly, it's better. Um, I make a really beautiful website and my whole thing with the website is that I want it to be 100% of the information that your guests need. So my goal when I make the website is for no guest of yours to ask you a question about the travel anyway. So um, it's going to have every single detail about the resort, where to go, where to fly, when it is, what to buy, the minimums, the maximums, the prices, the room categories, pictures, the deposit dates, the, the payment due dates, literally everything they could possibly need. It's going to be on that website. I'm trying really hard to make it a one-stop shop for all your guests so that you get to just chill. Like this is a fun time. You guys should just be engaged, enjoy your engagement and not be answering a billion wedding questions. Nobody likes doing that. No one. I got married last year. I hated answering wedding questions. I was like, please read the website, please, please, please. So I love making the website so that they'll just 
read the website. They can book it on the website. They do everything there. Then I set it up so that your guests can make reservations right on the website, like I said. So all you have to do is click, fill out a couple forms, pick their room, pick their dates. They can compare pricing and all that good stuff. And basically I make it really easy for them. So the reservation comes to me. I book it for them. Easy peasy. I send everybody their invoices. I send them due dates and information. I give them reminders about payments. I do a whole lot of stuff. And part of this is that I intentionally set up payment plans. I normally have like around a $200 deposit, depending on you and your guests and the resort and everything, around a $200 per person deposit. And then I usually have a 50% due date. I have this 50% due date just because it helps people feel more calm and less stressed about a big scary lump sum due all at once. It splits it up, it makes it look less scary, and then in my experience it tends to be that more people attend your wedding if they have the option for a payment plan instead of just one sum all at once, which is a little bit silly, but psychology, right? I'll take it. Then finally, I help with everybody's reservations. So I give them payment reminders, like I said, but I also take care of them all throughout the whole process. I, I collect everybody's flight information so I can give it to the transfer company because I also set up group transfers for you guys, meaning every person in your group, as long as they turn in their information, every person in your group will have a transfer from the airport to the resort and from the resort back to the airport so that everything is smooth, safe, easy, simple. It's all together so that when your guests book their resort stay for your wedding, they're getting everything they need, right? It's an all-inclusive resort. It's all the food and drinks and amenities and pool and beach and stuff that you could possibly need. The wedding will likely be on resort. It's okay if it's not, but it will probably be there. Most people's are. And I get your transfer included as well so that everybody has the ride to and from the airport, the all-inclusive stay where all the food and drinks and activities you need are all there. That's really all they need. If people choose to go on excursions or go off-site somewhere, that's totally fine. But most wedding guests tend to kind of stay. You know, it's their, it's their vacation and some people make it a whole trip, but it's, it's really about you. So they're being there for you. So a lot of people tend to not spend extra money or go off-site. They just do everything there, which is great because it's an all-inclusive. That's one of the main perks of having your wedding at an all-inclusive. It's all right there. It's super easy. So you can all have a blast the entire time and never have to leave or worry about any logistics. Then finally, before everybody leaves, after I've collected the flights, I've secured all the transfers back and forth between the airport and resort, then I send everybody final documents, usually in paper format as well as digital format, so that you've got it back up on your phone, you have physical documents in hand, and everybody has all the phone numbers they need, any emergency contacts, all the information they need to have a perfect, amazing, relaxed stay. So if you are thinking about a destination wedding, or you're planning a destination wedding, and you want to have one, but you're just overwhelmed, it feels like... All that stuff I just said is a full-time job. Um, I have news for you, friend. It is a full-time job. It's my full-time job. So it would be really crazy if you tried to do my full-time job that you don't have experience in at the same time as doing your full-time job. Am I right? Like, right? So call an expert. I'm a certified destination wedding expert. There's a bunch of us. I mean, you don't have to use me, but I strongly recommend hiring a travel advisor, specifically one with experience in destination weddings. So you're going to want to pick somebody who's got experience, who's certified, who's got, done all the training, who's been there and done that, been to the resorts, planned the weddings and the thing. And I mean, not to chew my own horn, but I'm your girl. So click the link in my bio, set up a totally free consultation call, which we'll have over Zoom. You can have a glass of wine or margarita or whatever makes you happy. And I'll just talk to you about your wedding and we'll get rolling. Okay? So this should be a totally stress-free way to plan your destination wedding and really pull it off well without being just like stressed and overwhelmed and doing research and handling everybody's stuff. You just get to travel and get married in paradise. Life is easy. It's great. So... Can't wait to help. Have a good day.